Dragon Ball Sparking Zero really is the game that keeps on giving. As so far on the channel, I have enjoyed every single feature the game has to offer. And I don't think today is going to be any different as we're going to be checking out the game's episode battle feature, aka the game's story mode. Now, the way this game differentiates itself from a lot of other Dragon Ball games is that instead of just going through the mainline Dragon Ball Z story, at certain points, we are going to get to make our own unique choices that are going to drastically spin the story off into a complete different direction. If it sounds like I'm keeping it vague, it's because I am. I don't know what's going to happen here. I have not been spoiled. I have not seen anything other than people rage quitting on Grade 8 Vegeta. But I don't know about that. See, I, I'm going to be the judge of it. Let me see what these difficulties are. Wait, there's only normal and easy? Nah, but wait, hold on. Maybe this game really is hard. Wait, what? I kind of like that, though. Hold on. Send me back to default. I, I just want the normal experience. Oh, we're already starting with my favorite character. It's kind of crazy because at least right now, I'm imagining that I'm going to have to do two series on this one episode battle. One where I stay true to the story, and obviously this one where I go completely off the rails. Hey, bro, do the insults have to stay in the story? Now, the only thing I've had spoiled for me directly is that people think Great Ape Vegeta is hard. That is literally it. So other than that, anything else is going to throw me off. Let me grab Raditz. Big spins! 360 degrees! Oh, and... Okay, does anybody else have this problem? When that mash comes up, I'm not good enough to see it yet in the game. So I'm always mashing X because I'm getting ready to fight back. So I completely whiff the thing. I say I hate it, but I actually kind of like it because it rewards not mashing, which I think is really good. Another grab. Am I just going to throw him against the wall? <laughs> I spiked him into the dirt. <laughs> nah, that's got to be embarrassing, bro. By your baby brother? By your baby brother, bro? I'm tap dancing on your forehead, bro. I, I would know there's a lot of space to tap dance on. Oh, that's all it takes. Look at that end screen. Oh, he's still fine, though. <laughs> we just stand here. So, uh, whatever happened to Dad? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I, I wasn't there, obviously. If you want your little brat return safely, Kakarot, prove your Saiyan spirit. Eliminate 100 Earthlings and pile them here before I return in one day. <laughs> I'm mad Gohan is just AFK, bro, bro. Not a single thought behind those eyes. And let me be He's still frozen in fear. <laughs> He's frozen in fear. Oh, there he goes. I'm still going to stand by the fact that Raditz is being very polite here. He's only asking for 100 human bodies and he'll go in peace. Relatively, for Dragon Ball Z villains, that's not too bad. Gohan! <laughs> Jesus, bro. Sean Schemmel was acting that day. He was Schemmeling. Oh, my first decision. I've seen the trailer, bro. I This one is spoiled for me, bro. I've seen the teaser. Goku is no match for Raditz's overwhelming strength. Now, I get to make a decision about my teammate here. Yeah, hey, sorry, Piccolo. Piccolo. Even though I like that you go with Goku, I'm going on my own. What, what are you doing here? I was listening the whole conversation. I, was <laughs> I don't think he really wants to be my friend, bro. I'm going at it alone. The decision point has been made. <laughs> There's no way. Bro, I know he got his feelings hurt. I could hear it in the voice acting. It was subtle, though. <laughs> so no, we're not going to talk about Piccolo just being here? Hell yeah, bro. I, I said no to Piccolo, but I would I would say yes to Krillin any day. I want to see how this leads to us jumping him the way we do. I've seen the teaser, bro. I know we all jump him. Oh, Kakarot. I thought you'd at least be smarter than this. But you have no idea how out of your league you are. Bro, come on. I teamed up with you know, Krillin. Believe it or not, battles aren't just about raw strength. I don't know if that's true when he can blow a hole in your chest. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. I, I can agree with Raditz here. He showed up with Krillin. Hey, look at this costume, bro. I'm about to hit the nastiest meteor comment. Wait, why is Raditz so strong? Wait, why does he have armor? Wait, lore accurate, bro. Why does Raditz have super armor? Bro, how weak am I? Oh, hell no, bro. I should have taken Piccolo's in by... Oh, who was I to decline his invite, bro? I can't hit this guy. He's side... Oh my God, he's sidestepping like crazy. Dude, he's actually... No Wait, were people not lying? Let the record show that... Dude, he's actually playing the game. People on... People online don't sidestep this much. There's no way I get hit by that. Manage it. I'm... I'm so cooked. Piccolo, if you're still out there, please contact me, bro. I, uh, my phone number, please. I'm spamming. He redirected the me. <laughs> Oh no, guys, I think I might have been off more than I can chew. I think I might have been off a bit too much here. This is so bad, bro. Wait, for some reason, he's getting... Oh no. Please block, please block, please block. I vanished it. Oh, I'm so good. I'm lucky I'm so good. Super Kamehameha. Piccolo, you're here. I'm just gonna block. I'm just gonna launch it. The Super Kamehameha needs to hit, bro. I can't, I can't do anything else. Yes, we got a bar of damage. Do I have anybody to tag out to? 
I have Krillin. That's right. I did. Oh, tag team combo. I don't know what Krillin was doing down there already. All right. Solar Flare is broken. I do have that. Nice blink. Combo off that. Yes. I love that Krillin mentions the destructive disc, man. That's the kind of content I love to see. I, don't, I didn't tell Goku to come out. No, Krillin, you were doing fine. I should have switched that way earlier. Oh, we did it. Watch out. Watch out behind you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh no, what happened? Oh no, I T-posed, bro. Bro, I landed on, I, I know I broke my ankles right there, bro. Look at the face I made. Say bro, how did it get this bad? Krillin was doing so good. He snuck me during the cutscene. What the? Hey, man, he got a big, bro. He's 75% head. Oh, that has to, that has to hurt, bro. That's like getting hit by a cannonball. Don't do it. Please, he's just a <laughs> oh my god, I'm crawling and begging. In the next world? I'm not gonna let you. What? Somebody you blast this guy. Up. Piccolo, please. Piccolo, you're you're <laughs> All this just to end up back here on Snake Way. Except Piccolo got to keep his arm, I guess. No regeneration needed. No. What? Wait, I actually die? Wait, what? Wait, are we joking? Did I not do good enough in the Raditz fight? Wait, do you actually have to do good? Wait, I'm actually sick. Did, did I fail? Nah, this can't be happening, bro. Somebody res Goku. Damn. <laughs> Real talk? Oh! So I actually just died with Goku, huh? Dude, can I go back and retry? Dude, because I'm bad at the game. Is that why we're... Whoa, what the fuck is this? I got a Super Mario World map? Dude, see, survive a given time, because I didn't win. Oh my god, wait, this game is way cooler than I thought it was going to be. I thought you make the decision, and then that's it. Hold on, let me go back in time. All right, Raditz, I'll give it up, bro. You're pretty You're pretty strong. Meteor smash. I told you I was going to hit you with this, didn't I? Damn, big boot in the face. All right, come on. I'm spamming. I don't care. We do have a lot more. I'm going to go for another ultimate, because we do need to kill him quick here. Let's go. Let's go. Body and body and body and body and body and body and body. I'm just going to launch it. I'm just going to launch it. Again, we have to beat it within the time limit. I've got to recorrect that. I'm lied. I, oh no. Wow, I had less of this game spoiled than, for me than I thought. I'm just gonna shoot him from long range. No, I'm not gonna let you do yours. Um, did that hit me? Crazy that it hit me. No way that hits me too. No, I knew it. Oh, what are you talking about? Let's go. He's almost dead. Recorrect the timeline. Get him, get a media smash. Please. Yes, that should be it. Oh my God, this has to be gross, bro. Look at these bare feet. Ugh. 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 Finish the job. No, no, are you kidding? Go back. Nope, no, nope. I did not win. I did not win. Bro, this is the same thing I was doing in BT2. It probably plays when he gets to a low enough amount of health. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Yes, here it is. Damn, direct hit. Maybe he takes more damage because he's worn down from our fight. So he... Oh, caught him off guard. <gasps> My go Krillin. Yeah, no, not again. <laughs> Another miss? Oh, okay, here it is. I, now I remember this is the, this is the jumping from the trailer. He's done. Damn, when he take his shirt off? <laughs> Anything to flex, bro. Damn, frozen in time, nowhere to go. GG's. <laughs> that's a, that's even more embarrassing somehow. <laughs> you got jumped. So wait, what's the lore for, for... Why does Piccolo snitch now? Goku and his friends work together to beat Raditz. However, he warns them that in one year's time, two even stronger Saiyans will visit Earth. Oh, that's sick. Look at the boys training together. What could have been? Goku contacts his friends and they start a strict training regimen. However, having not been trained in martial arts before, Gohan cannot keep up with them. Ah, he tries the best to follow their lead and train, but he knows that he will only hold them back. Then Piccolo arrives. Piccolo points out they've been too kind to go on in their training. He informs him that he will take over go on training. Oh, okay. So he still gets custody of the kid. Okay. I'll leave Gohan's training to you. There's no Goku, shot. After what happened today, what? I think we can trust him. This you know is only I mean? this. This is the same day. This He's is the right. same day. You gave Piccolo, Gohan one be day dead. before you gave him we over to Piccolo. Are we? Are, so we is nobody else going to talk about that? It's been one day. Gohan, what do you want to do? Well, <laughs> I, I I don't know. I, I I'm only for I teach him everything you know, Piccolo. Oh, <laughs> what? That's crazy talk. Don't go easy on him just because he's a baby, Piccolo. That might be genuinely one of the most insane things Goku would have ever done. Goku and the others complete their training with Kami, and each of them continue to work on their individual skills. 
They then gather to test the fruits of their labor. Oh, I get to choose? <laughs> Shit, I mean, if I'm if I'm if I gotta choose a fight, I mean, I might as well pick on the small fry. <laughs> I was already talking trash. You, <laughs> this is crazy, bro. This game is awesome. Whoa, okay, you're serious. I didn't know you were serious. ATN, you watching? ATN, I want you to see this. You should you should have prepped him, bro. Wake up. 14k, one combo. Get the hell up. Ugh, shut up. Chatsy, are you gonna fight? <laughs> Bro, get him some. Yo, somebody get. Geez, this is like Naruto versus Konohamaru in the tuning exam. Does anybody know what clip I'm talking about? <laughs> it's just like, bro, this is not fair. How how are they watching this? Tien should butt in like, all right, all right, stop, bro. Uh, clearly, his training wasn't good enough. To, bro, damn! Somebody get him some help. Tien, bro, that looks like his grade. Damn, was it a 1v4 in canon? Goku and the others have tested their power. They return to their training in preparation for the Saiyans' attack. However, they do not have enough time before the Saiyans appear on Earth. The Saiyans send multiple Cybermen to test Goku and his friends. With the benefit of their strict training, they easily see off the threat. Finally, a Saiyan called Nappa decides to confront them directly. Nice, so this, the Cybermen didn't take not even one Z- Whoa, whoa! Oh, that still hit me for 13k. Oh my god, that hit me for 13k. Couple key blasts for you, why not? Hey, take a beam, why don't you? See, Raditz would have deflected that. He just blocked. Oh, grab in his face. Ha, ha, ha. See ya. Yeah, nap is a little too easy for me. Can we get somebody else in here? Bro, I hope grade 8 Vegeta lives up to the hype because right now Raditz, I mean, Nappa's looking a little trash. Raditz is easily stronger than this. And he didn't even block that one. Hey, does that get me a new path too or is, or is Nappa just go down easy? Okay, he does go down easy. Oh my god, he blew him up off screen. Vegeta kills Nappa without batting an eye as the latter had lost to Goku. Goku and the others can sense Vegeta's overwhelming power. They divide into two groups. Along with Goku, Tien and Piccolo, who both have strength left to spare, engage in combat with Vegeta. Damn, Nappa went down that easy. Gohan, Krillin, Yamcha, and Chiaotzu leave the battlefield. Why? Are we not trying to jump this guy? Once Gohan and the others have left, the remaining three begin their battle with Vegeta. Why would you kill your own partner? <laughs> he lost to no Kaioken Goku. <laughs> because I wouldn't be caught dead associating with someone who would be taken down by such low-class warriors. Vegeta has a point, okay? Can we, can we be honest? Vegeta has a point. <laughs> Goku, he didn't even got a response for it. You're a poor excuse for a Saiyan. All right, bro. You're talking, bro. You beat a couple people in your grade eight form, and you think your Twitter post scam? Damn. Hold on. Let's go. All right. Finally, a decent combo string on Vegeta. Can we get the sweet? Banish that. No. You're not getting away with this. Go ahead. How's that ground taste? Take a beam, why don't you, if you're going to lay there for six hours. I'm, I'm going to ship it to you express, bro. No prime needed. It's getting there day one. Ugh! Weave, 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 weave. Who's the low class Saiyan now, clown? <laughs> no. Vanish again. Ugh. The game can make you as difficult as you want, bro, but it's going to need to patch in an even higher difficulty. I'm not impressed. Hey, get your Gallic gun out. Get your Gallic gun out, bro. Where that Gallic gun at? Thought so. Hey, go ahead and stay on the ground for me. <laughs> he ain't getting out of this one. This battle hurt. Oh, I missed completely. All right, I'm gonna do what Krillin would. I'm gonna make Krillin proud. Oh, he's. Oh, he doesn't see me. Oh, he saw me right at the end. Oh wait, no, maybe he didn't. Oh, okay, no, he did. All right, I'm. I'm impressed, bro. He re he recovered from Solar Flare a lot better than I thought he would. Solar Flare. There we go. He can't block after Solar Flare. Banish that. And a beam for the road. Yes, it's over. Get in the grade eight form, bro. You you ain't impressing nobody. I should have let Tien do that, honestly. I, I should have switched out. <laughs> he's, he's howling at the moon. <laughs> Vegeta has been injured by Goku. In rage, he transforms into a great ape and attempts to defeat Goku. However, Piccolo had destroyed the moon during his training with Gohan to combat Gohan's great ape transformation. Vegeta realizes the moon isn't there. Instead, he creates a power ball to transform into a great ape. Ha, oh, that shot goes hard. The three of them share the remaining sensu beans between them to face Vegeta's great ape form. Whoa, whoa, I'm dodging that. I did not dodge that. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to block on, on immediately. Here we go. Beam in the face. So is this is this is this the big guy himself, bro? Is this who I'm supposed to be afraid of? Is this who's supposed to scare me? <laughs> oh no! Goku's having his realization. Bro, it's true. If you guys are like casual, well, I don't know if I'd call myself a casual Dragon Ball fan. But if you're not a power scaler Dragon Ball fan, look up how strong Vegeta is with his grade eight form. And, and I think you'll be shocked, bro. People think that grade eight, are we gonna beam clash? Oh, oh never mind, bro, I'm, not, I'm done talking numbers. Let's go. 
Oh, yeah, fuck it. Bro, did you see the way his snout popped up, bro? Easy. Easy, bro. Bro, here I was talking about how strong you were in lore, bro. I don't care. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to try and deflect it. No, oh, I can't. I don't know how to deflect beams. I'm still bad at the game. Oh, no. What is this? Is this a beam or is this an explosion? Oh, it's a beam. Can I deflect this? Oh, I hope I live this. Oh, I'm still living that. Come here, me all. Got him. Easy. Easy, bro. And I was literally about to say, look it up. This guy beats the entire Ginyu Force 1v5 in grade A. All three of us? Oh, nah. We're burning his retinas out of his skull. Damn. Nah, bro. It's over for your eyes after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro, I don't think your eyesight's ever recovering after that. Let's go. If that takes his tail, I'm popping off. Yes. That was so sick. That's my goat, Krillin. Sparky Zero, you just won my vote for game of the year three times over. Also, is he really gonna die to the, th the three-way threat? Oh, the four-way threat, bro. That's because of the training I did with him. Look at him T-posing down there. He's been weakened enough that Chouch's paralysis is working. <laughs> Goku didn't have to give that qualifier for anybody else. I would have been pissed. Dang, oh my God. Oh my goodness. They showed him getting exploded to death. <laughs> there's no there's no way we fist bump after doing that <laughs> we did it is this just a happy ending <laughs> yo i mean everybody survived we made it through nah bro I, honestly i mean <clears throat> oh hey dude oh hell no bro they underestimated a saiyan's durability somebody stomp on his neck he would do it to somebody else you were the worst enemy we ever faced but i guess the least we can do is give you a we're still going way too soft on this guy <gasps> Oh, that was sick. Uh? Oh, no. Wait, but how does he become a great ape again? Goku and his friends are certain of their victory. However, Vegeta survives their attack with the sheer immensity of his life force. Goku and the others have used up all their energy in this life or death struggle. However little it may be, it is only Piccolo and Goku who have remaining key. Despite Vegeta's counterattacks, Goku manages to withstand them. Goku buys time while Piccolo chooses the right moment to channel the remaining key into his fingertips. Oh, no way. Whoa! What do you hope to do? <laughs> yeah, what were you talking shit for again? <laughs> and of course, you started it with racism, bro. It's oh nah, bro. He it's he's cooked, bro. He got they done put Vegeta into babies. No way! Vegeta outplayed that. Ah, oh, damn, that was sick. Fuck you, Pic you did that on purpose, didn't you? I don't buy I'm not buying it. As a result, Goku takes the full brunt of Piccolo's special beam cannon and loses conscious. It's over. We just threw. What a choke. When Goku comes to, he sees Gohan cornered by Vegeta. What a throw. My what? They're my friends! I don't care if I was shot in an arm. I'm pissed. No! Oh! <laughs> Damn, bro. Sean, bro. The spirit bomb! With his life on the line, Goku's final punch collides with Vegeta. Vegeta takes the full force of the punch and summons his spaceship in an attempt to return home. Krillin, determined to deter Vegeta from escaping, moves in for the finishing blow. But with his final breath, Goku stops him. Krillin, I'm begging you. Just let him go. I know it's selfish, but I don't... I don't want him to die. <laughs> <laughs> With these final words, Goku takes his last breath. No, wait, he sacrificed himself? Choosing to honor Goku's final wish, Krillin listens, allowing Bring Vegeta Goku to escape. Back to life with the Dragon Balls. And the next time we meet, you're going down for good. Oh, Krillin, you should have finished the job. Krillin's final words will soon invite not only Vegeta, but even more terrifying enemies to attack Earth. However, no one can foresee that yet. Whoa, we are going deep. Wait, how long does this storyline go? Wait, what? As for Goku, after his death in the battle with Vegeta, Kami arranges for him to train under the watchful gaze of King Kai. Yo! This power boost better go crazy. Concerned by Vegeta's use of the word Namekian, Piccolo travels to the South Plan. <laughs> Uh, he didn't like the way he used the word. <laughs> Gohan wishing to become as strong as possible before a Saiyan attacks Earth again ignores Chi Chi and decides to travel with Piccolo to train under him. Nearly one month later, Goku surprises King Kai by quickly mastering the Kaioken and the Spirit Bomb. However, King Kai soon notices that Vegeta is once again on a course for Earth. No, he comes back? Goku rushes to notify his friends that they need to revive him with the Dragon Balls. He is back on Earth within a few hours. Goku and his companions then travel to the site where Vegeta's key is and prepare for battle. 
Oh, I see. Gina. He heals and comes back. No wonder, bro. They needed so to train soon. me up for, to be able to handle the real Dragon great ape fight. Did this story's still pretty cool. Like, I probably... Really I would have still liked Dragon Ball if this was the story. Oh, this is sick. Is Frieza hot on his trail behind him? No way. The Dragon Balls are being sought after by Frieza. Oh, shit. <laughs> bro, this is still a cool plot. What? Frieza? <laughs> And I can assure you, not a single Earthling could ever match his power. Frieza is considered absolutely invincible. Damn. But if I am granted immortality, I can kill him and spare all your lives. So if you know what's good for you, hand over the Dragon Balls. See, that, this would be this would After be a nice offer if I could who? believe Vegeta would, would spare them for even a second. This is yeah, so no peak, dude. This is actually sick. This storyline is so sick. Than Goku anyway. <laughs> True. Good. This is this is my MC right here. That's Goku. And besides, the Earth is ours to defend. Yes, bro. What training could you have possibly done? You you don't have great ape. You lost before. Y you're cooked. Get off this planet, buddy. What is bro still doing on my planet? Oh, <laughs> uh. Oh, he's actually playing Dragon Ball? He, wait, this guy's playing Budokai Tenkaichi now. Weave, 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 weave. Yeah, you need to work on your speed, buddy. Because now I got Kaioken, too. Oh, he's good. Wait. Damn, bro. He's hitting me with some looks here. Give me your energy. Everybody on Earth, I need it. I'm going to try to kill him in one in one go with the, the spear. Don't. I'm not letting him do anything. Damn, bro. That second vanish. <gasps> vanish this. Got it. Nice. Give me your energy. All right, this should be enough to kill him from here. Sorry, Vegeta, but even the Prince of All Saiyans can't take a two stack. I'm vanishing that, I promise. Even the Prince of All Saiyans can't defeat a superior bomb. Sorry, I had to get my catchphrase out. I'm behind you. <laughs> Catch this. Look at the weight, bro. Look at how heavy it is. Two stacks. You know I gotta try to hold this up. Here it goes. Ugh. Damn, bro. Two stacks? What, bro, did I aim that directly at the earth? That wasn't even close to hitting him. He ran for the hills, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please let this one hit. Even though this has no stacks now. I lost all my stacks, by the way. I begged the people of Earth and then wasted it. Let's go. You're not holding that. He still died. Oh, wait, he's alive. He last. Oh, it's lore, bro. <laughs> We're really using lore? Is this what would have happened if I beat Raditz before? Hey, man. Spear Bomb still got it done. I, I might have missed the one with charges, but the people of the Earth got to be satisfied with that one. Kakarot. What would you say to form <gasps> a temporary alliance with me to defeat yes. Frieza? Yes, can I say yes? Please let me say yes. It will still take yes. some time before Dude, Frieza what storyline is this? I don't remember seeing this in the trailer. Them. Maybe we I just misjudged what the trailer was. Together. Okay, I Hold have not on. seen anything this about this. This person is aiming to attack Earth. Then how did you manage to get here before him? Oh, good question. Frieza travels in a gargantuan mothership. Mm. So my more compact space pod allow me nice. to Nice, okay, I'll, I'll accept that. Good lore. None of this changes the fact that we can't trust you. No, 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 Krillin, shut up. Guys, don't turn I your back to Vegeta's him. Vegeta's actually telling us the truth. I don't think he'd ever sacrifice his pride as a Saiyan warrior to lie about somebody being. Hold on, his writing is this fire? I don't know. Just doesn't That's make sense sick. to me. If anything, I think he'd much sooner die trying to steal the Dragon Balls than sacrifice his pride. True. Th then there really is someone stronger than you and Vegeta, and they want to conquer hey, Earth. Hey, we ain't gonna let it happen though. I believe you. And I think we have no yes. other choice but to join forces. Yes, I thought I would. I thought I was gonna. I was gonna get another choice there, but that's fine. I, this is what I would have chosen anyway. With that, Goku and his companions begin cooperating with Vegeta to confront Frieza, Emperor of the Universe, who is on his way to attack Earth. While Goku and Vegeta begin training, Bulma and the others are tasked with keeping in contact with Piccolo and Gohan as they travel the planet Namek. Oh, I didn't know they went over there. That's cool too. Vegeta and Goku train together, refining their combat skills using the gravity chamber developed by Bulma's father. One day, the team detects Frieza's key approaching Earth and realize that the moment has finally come. Oh, this is sick. Due to the massive size of that key, Tien decides to leave Chaozi behind. <laughs> they keep flaming his ass. They're attacked during their travels by Vegeta's former rival, Kui, but Vegeta has grown stronger and defeats him easily. Okay. Sometimes they write characters in just as... <laughs> so, which one of you wants to die next? Oh, they're at least going to let it... Oh, dude, what is this storyline? Don't start getting a swollen head just because you beat Queen, Vegeta. You're talking about a swollen head looking like Dory that? Your hands are on. I might have known you'd show your sorry faces. You're even more foolish than I thought, Vegeta. Did you think teaming up with these earthlings would put you on equal footing with I'll Frieza? have you know the guy standing next to me is a saint. <laughs> you're as foolish as I thought if you oh, think I'd be relying on earthlings. Yes, sir. Wait. 
I recall Lord Frieza saying something about a Saiyan survivor that had Damn, been Damn, yo, they're giving Goku a lot of props here. Earth. Frieza knew about him? A Saiyan who was raised on Earth? That <laughs> <laughs> Bro heard his catchphrase. <laughs> he walked in like a sitcom character. He was expecting applause there. If the Saiyan race couldn't survive a little oh. meteor, or what Zarbon, you, you, you saw Frieza do it, bro. Us? You don't gotta act like it was a meteor. Wait. Is, is Gohan going to arrive back from Namek with his potential unleashed and absolutely just fold these guys? That would be so sick. What if Gohan arrives as a Super Saiyan? Now, now I'm getting crazy, bro. This is why they don't let me write this stuff, bro, because I, I can't think of a good story to save my life. Let's go. We're behind Dory. Can, can I see the combo? Bro, fighting Dory on Earth? Just go. What the hell was that? What kind of evasive maneuver? No vanish? All right. I guess I'm trash. Oh, he's punching himself. That's how you know he's stupid. Yes. Times 20. Climbs 20 for the 8,000 damage. Yeah, Dodori is not putting up a fight. Bro, weren't you calling somebody a bobblehead before too, bro? Another 8k damage. Bro, get Zarbon in here. In fact, I'm gonna start prepping for Zarbon. When I set stuff up in the video, it's because I know it's coming later, bro. I can see the script. YouTube hands out scripts before everybody records the video. They told me I was gonna be a Dragon Ball YouTuber. They told me one day I was gonna have to make a sick video where I beat Zarbon with, with a double stack spirit bomb. I didn't understand what they meant then, but I do now. It was pretty specific, so I'm confused on how I didn't understand. That's the Doria down. Oh, here comes the double stack. Hey, Zorbot. First, I'll weaken him by one bar. Okay, he's just down on the ground. Okay, guys, he's just stuck. Oh my God, he actually can't come up. I'm just gonna throw it from here. I don't think he can blink it. I think it's too big. And I also think this bot sucks. Two stacks, I think kills from here. Especially raw. He just, I'm so fired, bro. YouTube is gonna take my channel away. You wanna key clash? Oh my God, he won't even beam clash me. I'm gonna blink it. I didn't blink it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just losing everything, bro. Actually, what am I doing, bro? Let's let Vegeta have some fun. Oh, tag combos! So sick. Blink. I like that some of the AI are just weaker than others. Like, Vegeta's definitely felt harder than this. Even Raditz felt harder than this. Are, are we seeing my combos here, by the way? I just I just easily ended that. Dodori, you're already dead. Oh, okay, I lowered their health. Was this another decision? I wonder if I'm going down a certain path or if this is the only path. It's gonna be so fun to see if, if there's di if there's another like branching path here. This game is way beyond what I thought it was. <laughs> oh my god, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Goku and Vegeta have defeated Dodoria and Zarbon. As Dodoria attempts to flee, Vegeta deals the finishing blow. <laughs> no mercy. Yeah, I was trying to tell him. Goku's about to reprimand Vegeta for taking the life of an enemy who had given up. All of a sudden, a new enemy arrives. No way, they even got the Ginyu Force on Earth. The Frieza Force's elite squadron, the Ginyu Force, appears in front of them. And now this is about to be a fight. <laughs> Hell no, bro. I, I want Gohan to show up and fight this guy. Remember, Gudo, orders were to only kill one of them each. Don't get greedy. Only one? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hi. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> oh. I'll give you one last chance to leave this planet peacefully. I'd take it if I were you. You saw what Vegeta did to the last what guy. We're serious. Say? What a gentleman this guy is, Gudo. Caring about <laughs> your well-being. I love the Ginyu Force. I'm gonna show you why the whole galaxy fears the Ginyu Force. They might kill Goldo in a cutscene, actually. Oh, no. Do we actually get to fight him? Let's go. Is it just Goldo? Oh, he actually did freeze me. Let's go. Talk to me, Goldo. Talk to me. See, now actually I'm kind of getting worried because everybody was talking about a great eight fight and I literally don't see how Vegeta could do another great eight fight unless they were talking about the earlier great eight fight. But I wait, did I not do a good enough job? Please tell me I did a good enough job, bro. Oh, I'm sweating now. Dude, I'm worried there might be more paths. Please tell me. No, I did good enough. Vegeta becomes annoyed witnessing Goldu and Goku's battle. He begins arguing that they have no time to fight one on one. The Ginyu Force agrees with Vegeta's proposal and Joining up with Goldo, they all come together as one to attack Goku and his friends. <laughs> this is gonna be the best fight so far. No. Okay, we clash with Goldo. Dratch up. I want I want Goldo dead immediately. Just in case there really is like a uh, a pseudo time limit. I know it says infinite, but I'm just worried that there's other paths. But having no spoilers is actually kind of crazy because I have to worry about all the small details. Also, we need to get him out of here just because we are we are one two v five right now. Maybe one v five actually. I don't I don't know. Can I switch to Vegeta? Times twenty does it hit? Of course it does, but he blocks it. Great. Should I use? You know what? Why not? We're gonna hit a two stack spear bomb at least one. Don't. No way you death counter that. Fine, just sit down, bro. Who's next? Are we gonna have to find him? Oh nice. Instantly lock on to Raccoon. Break his guard. Nice vanish combo. Vanish in front of him. Step up. Krillin's handling Goldo. That's good. 
Where'd he go? Oh, he was above me. No, vanish that. I'm still too fast. Ugh. And I mashed it. I'm not going to boost. I already lost. I won? Oh, yo, this is a Dragon Ball fight, bro. Ugh. Get off me. Sweep the leg. Pop him up. Ah, let's go. Maybe I should go with it for a three stack spear bomb. All right, I'm kind of crazy. Hey, guys, I'm just noticing. Why does Give Me Your Energy only have one stack? Is Did they make it a one stack move? Oh, that was a devastating hit. Damn, I wasted so much bars on Give Me Your Energy. How can rush? Speed it up. No, I missed. I really wanted to see that move. How can rush? I don't have the bar. Get there, Goku. Please. Yes. That should finish him off, right? Surely that does a bar. Ugh. Throw on a little Kamehameha. Still not enough. That's fine. Okay, he's down. Who's next? <sighs> Birder. All right, it's time to start throwing spirit bombs, guys. Oh, it's yo, are they hitting the Sasuke retrieval arc right now? So the lore is I weaken them and then the Earthlings take them out? Bro, that's so sick. Wait, why is that actually sick? That is a great way to use the Earthlings. Okay, one stack spear bomb all charged up. Can we kill Birder with this? Let's get the Ginyu for- Yes. I don't know. I don't think it's going to do three bombs. <laughs> Maybe it was stepping. Well, you definitely died the fastest in the whole damn universe. <laughs> All right. He might be able to dodge this one. I'm throwing another spear bomb at Jace. I was letting him yap, but I'm done. I'm going to cut him off now. I'm sending him to who's left? Maybe Piccolo? Oh, bro. The last one did three bars. Wow. Maybe it does have stacks. Mm, I'm going to charge it up again. <laughs> Why not? Right? I don't think that connects. Maybe it does. That was sick. Oh my God. Captain Ginyu. The strongest of the bunch, but he's still weak to me. No, no vanish. Okay, maybe I shouldn't talk. So does give me your energy give, have stacks? I, I legitimately don't know. I'm not going to risk it, though. It's too it's too much of a risk. One more spear bomb for the leader of the Ginyu Force. Catch! I don't think he can dodge this. I think the launcher is a foolproof method on the bots. No vanish? Because you ain't got the talent for it. Die! Just like Jace. Just like Birder. He's getting taken out. Oh, look at the stacks. Look at the stacks. Here, I'm going to show him the Kaioken. No. <laughs> I guess he didn't want to see it. Look at that backhand. Nothing personal, kid. And don't forget, I'm doing this on default difficulty, a.k.a. the hardest difficulty. Sorry, I had to plug myself, bro. I, see, I don't know if, like, I'm on the... I could be on the max win path. Oh, look at these weaklings. <laughs> look at us standing there. Yup, another hard day's work. Instead, the Ginyu Force spots an opening and tries to kill Goku while his guard's down, only to be cut down themselves by Vegeta. Yes! Thank you. I'm so glad Vegeta's on the team. After Vegeta's devastating attack, it is only Ginyu who remains when the enemy's leader, Frieza, emerges. Frieza orders Ginyu to search for the Dragon Balls. As Ginyu leaves, Vegeta follows in pursuit. Next, Frieza offers Goku and his friends a chance to join the Frieza Force. Goku, of course, turns his offer down, but he can sense that Frieza is far stronger than any enemy they faced before. It is then that Vegeta, who is supposed to be pursuing Captain Ginyu, returns to Goku and the other- Oh no. Before they know what's happening, Vegeta begins attacking Goku and friends. He got body swapped. Now I can know how no. strong Vegeta truly is with a first-hand experience. Hold on. This writing is fire, though. Vegeta, what do you think you're doing? No. Oh, Ginyu. Before exterminating the Earthlings, you should take care of that other Saiyan first. <laughs> Vegeta, why, bro? How could you throw? That's... No. You. At least they figured it out early. Clutch up, boys. Lock in. We've beaten Vegeta before. We can beat Ginyu in his body. All right, he's kind of he's kind of playing, though. I'm having so much fun with this story, bud, man. <laughs> this is so sick. Oh, Vegeta's here. Kaioken, rush. You know rush attacks? Well, I, it was a horrible example there, but I'm just going to try another Kaioken rush. Maybe it hits? It does not. Please. I know there's lore going on, but I'm getting combo to death. Please. Vanish that. It's over. Vanish that. It's over. Finally, another vanish kill. Ginyu keeps making that mistake. To be fair, Vegeta himself couldn't kill me, so... I, I mean, you're just replicating results. Go oh. Yeah, we all see the misplay here, right? I literally saw Vegeta standing right next to me. Watch the misplay. Watch the misplay. Clutch up. Hey, that's my go. Vegeta, honestly, is a way better character in this. Maybe not, not obviously not way better, but I'm saying like, kid me would have thought he was so cool. Vegeta blocks Ginyu's attempt, forcing him back into his own body. Ah, oh, damn, he's confident too. Not, not a single moment of fear. Who's he body switching with now? Oh, TM weaved that shit. Yes. Nah, that didn't hit him. He dodged it. Oh, he's going to live. <laughs> Is he going to end up in Chelsea's body? He froze for a second. 
Oh, happened? wait. Chiaotzu frozen. It must be. Yo, wait. Are they finally going to glaze him? Yo! Chiaotzu's getting some glaze? Damn, this story even gave Chiaotzu a moment. That's crazy. Wait, what? Worries about his friends, Chiaotzu follows behind, being careful not to be noticed. Chiaotzu uses telekinesis to change Ginyu's body with a frog's, and the battle is won. Honestly, that might be the most clutch thing Chiaotzu has ever done in any Dragon Ball story of all time. It's painfully clear Goku cannot defeat Frieza alone, and that Vegeta's help will be required. However, Frieza's enraged at seeing his underlings beaten, and he goes after Goku and the others. Unable to bear seeing his friends hurt anymore, Goku challenges Frieza to a one-on-one -on -one fight. You wish to to do battle with me one-on-one. -on -one. Of course. <laughs> I have never <laughs> You didn't have to laugh that much. Company. I'll let you in on something, Kakarot. Freezer's race can transform to become strong. Ah, damn. Well, someone's done his homework, hasn't he? So you know my little secret. Vegeta is so clutch in this line. Let's just say some of your elite soldiers have loose lips. Hey, you were sharing information with the Dorian Zarbon, huh? Transform? You mean like that great ape stunt you pulled? You mustn't put me in the same league as your hideous transformation. In my case, I'm merely holding back the full force of my awesome power. <laughs> my awesome power. If that's the case, go ahead and transform. I wouldn't want you to feel the shame of being defeated. Hey, whoa, 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 Oh, you're going to suffer dearly for such an insult. Do we not even fight first form Frieza? Rejoice. You will have the honor of being killed by my transformed state. Yes! Uh, oh, we're just starting at this? All right, so we've got to start at second form Frieza. First form is like already, he's too weak to fight Goku here. I like that, dude. I like this. Dash up. Sweep the leg. Knock him up. Another combo. Kick him from behind. Kamehameha times 20. And he blocks it. So most of my damage went away there. Weave. Never mind. I'll just do the armor. Oh, what are you going to do? Hold on. What's, what's your ultimate? I kind of want to compare ultimates. Eh, never mind. I don't really got to see it. <laughs> what are you going to do? Transform again? Sorry, bro. We're already on to the next mission. Another spirit bomb. Hey. <laughs> you might as well skip to the final form at this point. Come on, man. You're you're sleeping on me again. Frieza, in the midst of the next step of his transformation and intends to show Goku and his friends just how much more powerful than them he really is. And to further plunge Goku into the depths of despair, Frieza orders his soldier to eliminate Goku's wounded allies. Oh, shit. Just as a legion of troops appear from Frieza's spaceship, Master Roshi arrives to bring Chiaotzu back home. Our heroes give the last of their sensu bean to Goku and entrust him to defeat Frieza. Armed with the sensu beans in the hopes of his companions, Goku takes the battle to Frieza one last time. Oh, that was sick. Start with an action shot. Yes, Vegeta caught us. That's so sick. Vegeta. <laughs> Are you afraid? Have you realized that even combined, your power pales in comparison to mine? I do not remember Frieza sounding like that, but that is sick. Kakarot, even you wouldn't be stupid enough to fight Frieza if you didn't think you had a chance of winning. Are we hiding something? Yeah. That's right. Oh. <laughs> so I forgot we we I canonically I haven't been spamming Spirit Bomb. But even then, it's got such a slim chance of working. Gathering enough energy for it takes more time than we have. What the hell are you going to do? I need you to buy time, bro. Isn't I'm it obvious? The others' lives in this battle. So if we don't have an opening, I'm just gonna have to make. Ooh, I'm I'm hyped, bro. This is like watching an episode. Idiot. <laughs> it's a futile effort. Neither you nor I have any chance of beating him. How could a low-class warrior like you ever hope to top Oh, help Frieza? out. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, there we go. That's good. I, I boosted. All right. Well, we got we to gotta boost win, but oh, that's fine. You know, for doing all that talk in the cut. Never mind. He does have armor. He does have a little bit of armor on him. Oh, he blocks the key wave, but he doesn't block the sweep. Vanish that. Bro, vanishing is key, bro. If I wasn't vanishing like this, this story would be way harder, I think. I'm sharing energy again. God, no, no super yet. I got to do something different. Banished it. No, all right, it's fine. Play your feet. Let's go. Get right back to him. That's what I love to see. I could probably sidestep that, but it's not worth it, especially when I can weave him again and again and again. Weave him. Oh, God, I, I can't. The second time is a lot harder. Couple of key blasts. That should be fine. Opening overhead. Sweep the leg. Ugh. Shoulder charge. 10K. Another bar. I'm going to get a boost, and I'm just going to attack him. 
Yeah, go ahead. Go into your final transformation then. Oh, wait, he's doing it mid-game? They haven't used this before. Oh, I thought that triggered a cutscene. I was about to pop off. Wait. No! Oh, he got all his health back. Oh, shit. I, I don't know if I was ready for this. Oh, Vegeta's going to hold him off. Let's go. I'm popping off. Yo, Vegeta's going all out for Goku's sake. Yo, wait. I know I'm playing the game, but in my head, I'm watching the show. This is so sick. Come on, Vegeta. Give it all you got. <laughs> Yo, Kami, what are you doing here? <laughs> Please, Goku. Take my energy as well. Oh, never mind. It's, it's over. Yo, can we talk about how Vegeta clutched up? Is this a different path? <laughs> that was so awesome. Sparking episode? What's that mean? What's this? What does sparking episode mean? Oh, there is it is! What I think it is. Oh, that looks so sick! I've never seen a mass of energy that can I switch size. to first person? I can! <laughs> I've got you in my sights, Frieza! Uh, how unfortunate for you. Don't you Is he charging something in his hand? No! How he's using his orb! Do, but nice try. No! No! no Bro, look at my camera work. Am I killing it with this? Oh, it's the back from Nami! Go on! Let's go! What are you doing here? <laughs> Hold on, his writing is this fire? And that Namekian still drawing breath. What's happening? I'm popping off. Care of. I'm beset on all sides by sneaky parasitic flies. The, the, the voice acting. Just won't rest until I've been pushed to the limits of my patience. Is, is Frieza going to target them? I hope you all enjoy suffering the same thing as this planet! Hold on, bro. This game is too okay. good. It's finally ready. Damn. Do it! Go, go! Damn, this is sick. Yeah. Is the spirit bomb actually going to take him out? Also, we launched that directly at Earth. Oh, it got absorbed. He's done. He's actually gonna die here. Oh, <laughs> that was sick. <gasps> he's dead just like that. He did. He's dead. They're showing me a replay. That's how you know it's over. With the help of his friends, Goku successfully defeats Frieza with the spirit bomb. Goku asks why Piccolo and the other Namekians are on Earth, as they should be on planet Namek. It seems as if Piccolo and the others have been able to immediately teleport to Earth by using the Dragon Balls on planet Namek. <gasps> they teleported to help? Typically, true heroes are the only ones worthy of obtaining the Dragon Balls. However, once it was discovered that the God of Earth is a Namekian, permission to use the Dragon Balls was granted. Afterward, a Namekian boy called Dende uses his mysterious powers to heal the wounded. Just as Goku and his friends are expressing their gratitude, a fully recovered Vegeta appears. Oh, what? There's more? This is where our alliance ends, Kakarot. I will no longer be fighting along. Vegeta, I thought we were genuine friends by the end of that. Mark my words. One day soon, I will defeat you. Yeah, whatever you say, man. Seriously? Ugh, I was this close to inviting them to the <laughs> <victory> party, too. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he'll show up when the party starts. I think we're growing on Yeah, him. he didn't mean that, bro. Actually, the next time we see Vegeta, what? I think he'll be intending to fight us for real. Is that true? What? And like you said, who knows? <laughs> no, if Goku says something like that, I'm listening. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, Goku. At the very least... Frieza and his army won't be a threat to Earth anymore. I can't believe we won. Yeah, and if Vegeta does come back, I doubt it'll be anytime soon. Well, I don't know about you guys. Let's go get some We're food. Totally Dude, starving. what? I thought we were supposed to go Super Saiyan. How many Thanks paths the are there? Free of Goku and the others, Frieza is defeated. The planet Earth and the whole galaxy are at peace for now. The war was won, but the battles are far from over. For there are many other fearsome foes looming on the horizon. For Goku and the rest of our heroes, the saga continues. Wow. A plus. That was so good. 
I want to see how many routes there are. Like, are there more routes than that? Okay, I don't think... So, it doesn't look like there was any more... Wait. Yeah, I don't think there's any more routes. Maybe not? Maybe that is just the story. I don't know. I actually have no idea. I'm gonna have to play more stories to see how it works out. But either way, that was amazing. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of me playing through the entire episode selection of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, leave a like, subscribe, because I definitely want to do more of this. This, this alone was worth the $70, bro. I, I would have paid 140 bucks for this. This was grade A stuff right here. But like I said, leave a like, subscribe, let me know what you want to see, and I'll get it done. I'll see you in the next one.